I want to share a quick video walkthrough on how to add new pages to the Studio Planner. So when we swipe away from the cover here, we have our help page and you can see um, I actually have instructions walking you through how to do this if you need to reference them at any time. But I just wanted to create a quick video walkthrough. Um, sometimes it's easier to, to see it, um, to learn how to do it. So. I'm going to um, start by reminding you that when you add new pages to organize them, you can link them up here in, in the sections. And so, for example, um, let's say I want to create a new finance section here in the yellow tab. So the first thing I need to do is I need to find the page that I want to duplicate or insert to start creating that new section. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say, you know, I really have a goal of, of paying off some debt. And so this is the page I want to start with. I want to really get a feeling for um, what debt I have and, and set some goals around it, my goal payoff dates. So this is the page I want to duplicate to start my finance section. So what I do um, is I click here, the four squares, and you can see I have the right page. Uh, highlighted here. I'm going to click edit and I'm going to click this one page. Copy. So this page has been copied and I'm going to hit done and then I'm going to scroll and find where I want to insert it. And that's where I hit the plus button here and so I know that I want to insert it right after this yellow tab because I want to create this yellow section as my finance section. And so I hit the plus right here. Now this is where I'm going to paste copied pages. I do want to call out here that you can insert a page. This would just give you a blank GoodNotes page um, from, from their templates or I could import an outside page. So if you've bought a planner page from someone else that you really love and you want to use it, you could definitely do that. One note on that is if you insert pages outside of this planner, you're going to lose this top bar and the sidebar, that navigation, those hyperlinks just won't exist on that new page. So not a huge deal, but just something to, to be aware of. So I'm going to paste the copied pages. And again, since this page came from this planner, it has all of those navigational elements that I want to see. And so I hit done and that's it. I'm there and you can see it's right after this yellow section. So I would, you know, I could write finance in here and then whenever I want to get to that, I just click on that section and, and there I am. And so that's it in a nutshell. That's, that's how you um, copy pages. So obviously this, you know, this template library is probably the main place that you're going to come to grab pages and copy them. Um, specifically, you might do that same thing, you know, say five times for the week to add your daily plans in. But you could copy any page from anywhere in this planner if you wanted to. Um, you could duplicate it and add it in just following those steps.